Hmm, still no word from Master Garland. I hope this mana cutter of theirs is nearing completion. I am assured that her grace will make a full recovery. I and old Da too shall flourish once more. General Rabon and his colleagues have matters well in hand, I believe. Lady Ugiri, a question if I may. I believe your people have been keeping a close watch on the Crystal Braves. Might you know how things stand at the Rising Stones? Ah, oh, yes, of course. You will be pleased to know that th the third unit Braves abandoned Revenant's Toll when they learned of Captain Ilbert's defeat. The only blue uniforms to be seen there now are those worn by soldiers loyal to you, Master Alphano. Oh! To me? I see. I am grateful to hear that at least some of our members were true to their oaths. Ere we return to Ishgard, I must go to the Rising Stones and thank these stalwarts for their service. It shall be my final act as Crystal Brave Commander. Will you join me, Twerk? You were there at the company's inception. Just only fitting that you be present at its end. And I would appreciate the support. Alfie, you got it. And also, just in case any of them aren't actually loyal to you, it probably would be good to have some backup. She's alive! Because we were supposed to meet her, and that's how we got the poison vial. And to work, too, I knew you'd scrape through. Real. You should have done a better job of looking over the books, buddy. Sorry, but... So glad... I'm so glad they're alive. My splendid crystal braves. I have wronged you, all of you. My promises of glory and salvation have brought you naught but blood and betrayal. Bah, you're not here as complaining. Twas a sight messier than expected, I, but we was still fighting for the freedom of all, just like we swore. Ain't that right, mates? I. You humble me. I am truly blessed of such steadfast comrades is with the most profound regret, then, that I must... That's enough of that, Commander. We know what you've mind to say, and we ain't having none of it. We've talked it over, see, and we're all agreed. You can take our uniforms and strip us of our ranks, but we won't be no less of a company. But the Crystal Braves... The Crystal Braves may be finished, but the ideals upon which the company was founded live on. They bind us to each other, and to you, my friends. Commander, Alphano, our minds are made up so ye may as well get used to it. Let us help the Scions. Let us help you find Menphilia and the others. Please. My lady. My friends, after all that has happened, I know not what to say. It's okay, buddy. That's okay, buddy. Oh my god. This is pretty, excuse me. I had thought my tears spent. Alfie, it's okay, bud. You get to be emotional. My grandfather used to say that one could measure a man by the constancy of his comrades. Mayhap I am the exception which proves the rule. Nay, do not protest. I know that I am not worthy of their loyalty. Toward Alfie, yes you are, buddy. But as Thaliac is my witness, I shall do everything in my power to earn it. My man. My buddy, my pal. Ready to fly. I must speak of future plans with the remaining Braves. Any information we uncover on the missing Scions will need to be shared with our allies across the realm, specifically Uriyanjé in the Waking Sands and Tataru in Nishgard. While we are organizing our various channels of communication, I would ask that you call upon Master Garland at the Manufactory. I will join you in Ishgard as soon as I am able. Let's freaking get it, dude.
twerk? How in the seven hells do you do it? I was just about to send for you. It's almost like it was like planned or something. It's almost like it was planned. We have but this monument moment completed. We have but this moment completed the menu the mana cutter's first successful test flight. The words are hard, people. A few minor adjustments and she'll be ready to go. While we see to the finishing touches, you might want to pay a visit to Portal Manor. A dragoon by the name of Astinian is looking for you. Astinian! Is he as a dragoon? Hi. Hey, Astinian. I was just looking for you. You have fulfilled your obligations to the old Onzen. Mistress Sotaro has been keeping me apprised of the situation. Once I learned that these mana cutters of Master Garlands were nearing completion, I saw no reason to tarry in the mist. For the present, Neathog seems content to remain the airy, plotting his revenge. Might not this be an apt moment to unfold our plans, Sir Emmerich? I think we may have kept him in the dark long enough. Not a bad idea. We probably don't want to mention the whole thing about us talking to a dragon peacefully kind of thing before we, so we don't get ruled as heretics, especially with Lady Iceheart, because then they'll really be upset with us. But outside of that, yes, yes. Sir Emmerich has been eager to speak with you. Pray, proceed. What's this conversation going to be? <gasps> All stands ready, Lord Commander. Uh, the moment has come, then. Yeah. Pray excuse my lateness. I paid a brief visit to the workshop to inquire about the mana cutters. The engineers assure me that they're ready. The area is now but a short flight away. Yet what a long and winding path we took to reach this point. Were it not for Master Alphino's proposal, we never would have attempted to parlay with the dragons. Don't tell them that part! Though our negotiations yielded little, our expedition with Lady Isar taught us much. Don't tell them that part either. You took an unimaginable risk. I could scarce believe the tale Estinian told. Oh, okay, they're cool with it. All right, all right, all right. Aye. Tis true that many of our countrymen would sooner die than join hands with the heretic's mistress. But twas through that most unlikely of alliances that we came to speak with Reisvelgo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A conversation that went rather poorly, as I recall. Yeah. In this instance, could have been a lot better. The journey was more important than the destination. Had we not slain Nidhogg's consort Tiamun and put the Great Worm on his guard, the Dravanians would have arrived at Ishgard's walls long ago. Oh, I didn't think that. That's. Uh huh. Well, that was coincidental. Aye, that they would. Full grateful am I for every hour of respite your actions have afforded us. Thanks to you, our defenses are much improved. Tis but a pity they won't be enough. Thus, you believe an assault upon the area represents the city's best chance of survival. Is that not so, Astinian? I am under no illusions. Nidhogg's might is legendary. But with his eye in my possession, I can stifle his strength at the source. It feels a little too good to be true, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to go the way he thinks it's going to go. Victory will be hard won, even so. And I shall be glad indeed to have the Warrior of Light at my side. What's like Chekhov's gun, where you keep showing the gun that's going to come into play? And like, in this case, it's not so much like it's just showing the background that like, keeps being referenced, but like... It keeps being referenced too much in the sense for it to actually work. And we've seen him give in to the temptation of the dark side before. Sorry. Sorry. You shall have my blade as well. There are more of these mana cutters to be had, yes? Nah, there's only two. Sorry, Emmerich. But also, I appreciate you so much. Lord Commander, no. <laughs> How can I, a proud knight of Ishgard, stand by and do naught while an outsider risks life and limb for our homeland? I swore an oath to protect this city. Dude, Sir Amric? Amric and Orshpont really are just like ride or die homies. 
Pray leave the slaying of dragons to dragoons, Sir Knight. Your duty to command the city's defense is no less vital. Yeah, like, we might both die, and then they have an assault on the city, and you're going to be needed here. Should we fail, and Nidhogg slip through our grasp, who then will hold the walls against him? See? Will you leave Ishgard in the hands of the Holy See zealots? There are others. Mm. Who but you has the authority and the standing to orchestrate a city-wide defense? Yep. I do not. And neither does the Warrior of Light. That is why it is our place to fight. And yours to remain here, Lord Commander. What? You too, Master Alfino. By the fury. You have shown some promise, but this adversary is far beyond your skills. Did I just, like, skip that on accident? No, no, there was no skip. It was just, like, it just threw me off for a moment. It was just, like, movement and then... Your candor is appreciated, Sir Dragoon. I shall remain then and cheer you from afar. Alfie, I love you, but this is going to be very dangerous. All right? All right? You just you just need some more battle experience all, before you go into a fight with a great worm. Well, my friend, it would seem I have discouraged the last of the volunteers and claim the task as ours alone. But if any alive can best this worm, tis surely we two. Two Azure Dragoons. Oh, so much has happened in the past, like, 24 hours. So much. I have pricked Master Alphano's pride, I fear. But had I been less forceful, the boy would have insisted on accompanying us to the area. No, Estinian, you were right. You were right. And you did it in a nice way, all right? You could have been an asshole. You could have been a real Estinian about it, but you weren't. Do not think me blind to his talent. With a few more campaigns under his belt, I have no doubt that Alphano will make a fine field commander. I agree. I agree. Homie got, ri uh, like, um, not riled up, but he got ambushed by a bear and just, like, he just had, he took time to process it, okay? You know, he's got, he's, he's, he's got some battle experience to get still. All right, all right. But one does not practice on adversaries such as Nitho. Agreed? We shall be hard pressed enough without the added worry of carrying a novice. Into the airy. <gasps> we have tarried long enough. Let's call upon Master Garland and take possession of the monocutters. It's time to fly. It's time to do 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 Twerk, old friend. The cutters are ready when you are. The finer adjustments cost us a few sleepless nights, but we got there in the end. Which means you can get where you need to go. I tell you, these little beauties will tear through that wind barrier like a sermon dr drilled through cottage cheese. Totally know what that is. And that, my friends, is a Garland Ironworks guarantee. We have our thanks. Come, warrior of light. The dread worm awaits. I'm so ready for this cutscene. The airy now accessible. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited for this cutscene. This cutscene's gonna be good. This cutscene's gonna be good. I just know it. To just get in there. Sensing the death of his consort, a wary Neathog has surrounded his lair with a wall of tempestuous winds. 
After calling upon the assistance of Sid and his ingenious engineers, however, you and Estenian are now ready to breach this howling barrier on the wings of their latest airship prototype, the Monocutter. Join the Azure Dragoon on this, the greatest of worm hunts, and mount a direct assault upon the Airy. Only with the death of Nitho can you ensure the preservation of Ishgard and bring an end to the Dragon Song War. Oh, Crystal, have a good night. Thanks for hanging. Sleep well. Have a good weekend. Let's go raid coils. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more of a you know, you know, like dodging, almost like a little bit of a. <gasps> Wait, are we still gonna get it? Okay, we are potentially gonna get it. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, that looks like a Neath Hope to me. I'm missing an eye. Oh! Okay, yeah. All right, all right. I spoke too soon. I'm so sorry. Yo! It actually worked. Sorry to seem like we were just gonna like go in and land and chill, you know. I got a little nervous that we weren't gonna get like more of like a that, and I'm glad we got it. Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> the air begins to crackle. Yo, I'm so excited. Dobaki, right? Let's go! Let's go! Cloud Chaser, ain't that just the thirsty people who love Final Fantasy VII? Uh, go, 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 go. Get it because they thirst over the cloud. That was a little loud. This place is cool, though. I love the design. Quite loud, I'm not gonna lie sometimes. Oh! Rangda. 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 That's. Oh. That's such a cool design. Hey, 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 it's an AB conversation. See your way out of it. Nice! Good work, everybody. Good work. Good work, good work. Nice. Uh-huh. <gasps> Wee! Look, Ma, no hands. Air twerk coming up. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, hi, I'm gonna kill you. You you seem like someone to kill. I'm on a tear. I'm on a tear. I'm ripping. Oh lord, he ripping. Yeah. Nope. Uh-oh, that seems bad. Flammable gas? Yeah, that's bad. I would say that that's not good. Yeah. Well, oh, like that. We're fine, we're fine, everything's fine here now, thank you. How are you? Yeah! Yeah, got him. 
<laughs> Thanks, Meth Maker. Hello, music. Hey there, bud. The dragon's eyes limiting Nito's strength. <gasps> oh. Impudent immortals. <laughs> Tremble at my fury. Oh. I have so many. Oh. Hot tail? Now your mom's a hot piece of tail. <laughs> Just trying to taunt him a little bit. Uh huh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This rancor seems bad. I've seen Star Wars. I know rancors are bad. Get him. Get him. Fantastic. Consume my ass. I shouldn't have been saying that. That's my fault. That was my fault. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Put me down. Put me down. Put me down. Hey, yo. Put me down, man. You're, you're going to make me bust. Oh, Lord. I'm about to bust. A way to come in and take and steal the kill. We didn't kill him? Well, that's not good that we didn't kill him. I feel like that's not good. Yeah, there's no ear wiggle celebration at that duty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just felt a little too... It felt a little too, like, easy, you know. For a dungeon, he seems to be the bad guy. Hmm. Yeah. Well, oh, that's some mock speed right there. Wouldst use mine own eye against me? Time hath done not to dilute thy kind's depravity. Mm-hmm. I've not forgotten thee, Dragoon. Mine essence claimed thee once and shall do so again. Stinian's got a shitty grin on his face. No one! This ends here! Oh. Ooh. Um Hang on See his eyes. <gasps> Covered in crimson. He actually 
did it. Son of a bitch actually did it. You gifted my people a thousand years of suffering. Now I gift you an eternity in darkness. Whoa, <laughs> that's so nice. My man. Oh no. Wait, yes? Connection reestablished, please? Or reestablishing? We getting another bar on that Wi Fi signal? so close to hearing and feeling and thinking again. Oh! We have... Oh. This like a thousand years ago? It is. They are ours, Lord Haldrath. The eyes of Nidhogg. broken and my father is avenged with the wellspring of his vitality thus denied him Nidhogg shall not linger long in this world oh he can still come back but behold the terrible price we have paid my sire is dead so many brother knights slain he can still come back we traded our honor for the strength which now courses in our veins. And still we are forced to make such sacrifice. But not in vain, my lord. Krace Felger is the only great worm left in Dravania, and he dares not leave his lair. With Nidhogg's eyes in your possession, who now can challenge the might of Ishgard, ascend the throne, and take your rightful place as the ruler of our people? Nay, my friend. I must forsake the mantle of king. Though Nidhogg be defeated, his wormling horde yet darkens the skies with wings beyond counting. Haldris was the first Azure Dragoon, right? As one who partook of Ratatoska's strength, it shall be my penance to bear a knight's arms until death grants me leave to retire. When that day comes, no prince shall perish. But a hell's bound hunter of dragons. Hmm. But Lord Haldreth, what then shall become of the royal line? Think of your people, my lord. Without a king, who will the common man turn to in his hour of need? How will he find his way without your benevolent hand to guide him? It's interesting seeing like all their names being Zemel, Fortom. I thank you, Sir Flavian and Sir Silvertril, for dispelling my remaining doubts. With men of such wisdom and compassion in service to the realm, it is plain that Ishgard has no need of a king. Mm -hmm. But if you must bow to the demands of tradition, you need look no further than yourselves for one worthy to wear the crown.
His words make sense, but he looks... There's just something I don't trust about him. It's, it's his smile. He just has like a permanent smirk on his face. It makes Fairly me not well, trust my brother him. Knights. My loyal friends. On these shoulders shall I bear the weight of my father's sins. With this lance, shall I repay the debt accrued through our misdeeds. Hmm. Interesting. What cruel jest has fate played upon us? Have we seized this desperate victory only to lose a king? We can but act as our lord has bid. We few who remain must divide between us the rulership of Ishgard and her people. Mm. Not I. My oath was to Lord Haldrath and he alone. If he is not to be king, then I would hang up my shield as well. Interesting that he's just brawny knight. Will you abandon us too, sir? He has a really cool sword too. I would wash my hands of blood and betrayal and take up an honest trade. I have I shall serve ale instead of sharp and steel. Interesting. And then there were four. We four then. The night that was the forgotten night in. Oh my god. Wild. Nice, okay. Photon, Hylanart, Durandere, and Zemile. But four houses to rule all of Ishgard. Mm -hmm. And what of the throne? We keep it empty until the day a king rises once more. We must assume the role of stewards. Who's gonna be the new king of Gondor? We shall shape our nation anew with a history of our own making. And let the truth of this dark day die here, upon the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So many what things. You, Are you wounded? I know, I know, I know if I just progress, things will be talked about there, but it's like. Need Neath had both of his eyes removed before, and obviously he came back. So that means he's not he's not gone gone. We saw the establishment of the four houses of Ishgard. Why there is no current king. And this just, it, it, it feels like there's gotta be someone is a descendant of Haldrith right now. Stinian, is it you? Is it Orshifont? Because I feel like there's no way it's going to be like a new character, you know, that we find. I feel like it's going to be, but whatever. Sorry. Because um, they're showing us that for multiple reasons. You know, it's not just, oh, hey, you know, here's just a little flashback of what happened. No, there's, it's, it's lineage of the kingdom. Uh, Orsifon's from House Fortom. On his dad's side, on his dad's side. 
Or Chiffon is from Hal's fourth home on his dad's side. We all know about his mama. We all know about his mama. I'm not saying it is, but at the same time, it's just like, all right. Mom was lowborn. That doesn't mean that she wasn't descendant. Obviously, like, I feel like if people knew who the descendant was, then there wouldn't be like this big. I mean, there isn't a big mystery about it, but like, I feel like we wouldn't be sh shown kind of this. Uh, I'm not gonna try and like guess who it could be. It's more of just like, it's just, there was so much to process. We haven't had like an echo flashback in so long. You know, it's like, what's important, what's not important. And I feel like it's the line being, the, the throne being vacant, the four houses being a steward till the line of Thordan and Haldrith returns to Ishgard. Then also the fact that if the eyes remain, so do the dragon. And that's why Red Tasker probably can't come back, is like her eyes were consumed. Oh. You have borne witness to history, to the culmination of the first battle with Nidhogg. Yes, I talk out loud. Don't don't tell me one way or another, okay? Just let me just let me have my theories. Please do not correct me or say yay or nay or anything of that. Just hit me with a maybe, a perhaps, or just a, an emote smiley face. The legend of Ishgard's founding tells that our ancestors were led to the land of Kurthus by the valiant King Thordon. In the midst of their journey, they came to a wide chasm where they were set upon by a great worm. Nidhogg. A furious battle then ensued, with Thordon leading the van. Though the brave king was slain defending his people, his son, Haldrath, the first Azure Dragoon, fought on undaunted. And with a mighty thrust of his lance, he gouged out Nidhogg's eye, forcing the wicked creature into retreat. He got both of them, though. Thus, did this Eldritch Orb become a sacred treasure of Ishgard, lending its power to every knight deemed worthy to bear the title of Azure Dragoon. A rousing tale, is it not? Would that I could still believe it. But your vision, which we must accept as immutable truth, leaves no room for doubt. Save on one point. Uh-huh. If Haldrath took both of Nidhogg's eyes, then how came this eye to be lodged in the worm's skull? I wonder if dragons can swap eyes, and if... Frace Velgar just gave Neathhoke his other eye to bring his brother back. Beneath every answer we unearth, another question lies buried. Mm hmm. Yeah. It was a fierce battle, but one I knew we would win. Your fame is well deserved, Warrior of Light. Full proud am I to have fought at your side. I like that it was initially like bloodstained armor, and now it's a, it's just like it's a full crimson, and I I like it. It's a good color. I would fain return with all swiftness to Ishgard to inform the Lord Commander of our triumph.
But we must first have words with Hreisvelger. There are parts of this tale that the worm has kept from us, and I would know wherefore. I wonder if if if, if Izael is still there. But yeah, there's a lot of questions that need to be asked right now. Oh my god! Though Neathog has fallen, my heart is yet heavy, and the stain of corruption pleases me not. When all has been put to rest, I must needs forge my armor anew. Monica to key, baby. 